Freedom on the Net reports that a massive 90% of internet users worldwide are being monitored online. And the solution is decentralized VPNs to reclaim data privacy and resist unfair censorship. The right VPN allows you to easily configure your access without compromising your network security, privacy, and anonymity. However, this can be incredibly tricky, more tricky than most people think, because high-grade security can also compromise your internet speed, and certain VPNs are being watched. We know that now. So let's dig a little deeper into what your VPN provider truly offers and whether or not they're actually capable of delivering the speed and the privacy that we're looking for. Welcome back to Renegade News. I'm your host, Glenn Kowalski. Every week on this channel, we discuss how entrepreneurs and other freedom lovers just like you can build cancel culture proof businesses, create a bigger impact in their business and in the world and completely break free from the system. Not all DVPM, decentralized VPN providers are created equal. Decentralized VPNs appear to be the ideal choice for maximum internet anonymity and privacy. We've talked about this in other videos, how normal centralized VPNs, the old VPNs, which are advertised as being private and secure, really aren't, and how they can be monitored, especially in Five Eyes and 14 nice countries. If you don't know what those are, we do have some other videos on the channel. Take a look at and watch those. We talk about um, the old style of VPNs as well as the five, nine, and 14 nice countries in those other videos. I'll also link to one of those in the end. Not all of these decentralized VPNs are necessarily that much better. No dependent decentralized VPNs can be challenging due to reliance on the services of the nodes and their commitment to the network. And the key to finding the decentralized VPN provider that can affordably offer you the maximum internet privacy and great internet speed is really based on your specific needs. So let's talk about the top five right now because there are various decentralized VPN options on the market and they vary vastly in terms of quality and that makes it extremely important to understand certain factors that separate one from the other. And so we've compiled this list of the best VPN providers, decentralized VPN providers, so you can see what they are right now. The first one we're gonna talk about is Deeper Network, and it's a blockchain-based decentralized VPN and a firewall solution that runs a bandwidth sharing platform by combining physical hardware, Web 3.0, architecture and blockchain and cryptocurrency technology. Deeper offers users absolute privacy and anonymity over the internet traffic since the network has no centralized servers, which also means there's no likelihood of users browsing and connection histories being logged, hacked, or leaked. It is also capable of effectively blocking every ad, tracker, and other monitoring tools from your devices, which is a great feature. Another key advantage of the project is the ease of use that's brought about by the Deeper Connect Mini, a plug and play device that enables any user to easily connect to the Deeper network through an ethernet connection and an ethernet cable, making it super plug and play simple. That device can be up and running in as little as five seconds, and then it has the added feature of being able to add more DPR. The device itself is a high performing computer capable of providing seamless internet speed for its users. Additionally, the Deeper Connect Mini can also be used as a mining rig as it has a very low maximum energy consumption, only five to 15 watts, which adds another use case for that device, making it really valuable. The next DVD VPN to talk about is Mysterium Network. And it's a peer to peer decentralized VPN provider that allows users to run their nodes to maintain its VPN network. Users who have unused network traffic can sell them back to the Mysterium marketplace, which users can then purchase to access the internet safely, privately, and anonymously. Mysterium describes its benefits as follows. First of all, it's anonymity that you can rent by the minute. It's a peer-to-peer, -peer, so there's no email, no contracts, and no locked-in costs. You can switch the system on and off whenever you need, and you only pay for what you actually use. It also uses untraceable internet money. So if you don't want to be involved in credit cards, banks, and cash, you can use cryptocurrency and pay for your privacy the fast and the anonymous way, giving it one more level of anonymity. It's also been open source from day one, which allows it to be audited, improved, modified, and in this case, most importantly, audited so that nobody can, can actually put any backdoors in the system because people are watching it. It's privacy that's powered by transparent technology. It's designed to keep you hidden and its source code is open and available for anybody to see. So like I said, you can go and audit that source code to make sure that it actually stays private if you're a coder who understands and is into that kind of thing. But it gives you the ability to know that others are doing that. It also has distributed logs and decentralized power. 
So it's powered by this global community. So there's no central point of control for failure. And there's nowhere that you, they can actually store their logs even if you wanted to. So they can't track or keep logs of the traffic. Even if you wanted them to, that can't be done. It also gives you the ability to earn money because you can rent your spare bandwidth to help power that network and earning while you're you know, resting or, or sleeping or playing, you're not using that network. The system uses it, people buy it and you can actually make some money on it. Next, we have Sentinel and the Sentinel network is another peer to peer bandwidth marketplace that gives individuals the freedom to sell their idle bandwidth to other internet users. So similar to the other regard where the bandwidth is shared between the users. This model supports a decentralized VPN application, allowing users to reroute their internet traffic using the bandwidth sold by the other network members worldwide. So what would happen is you're in Toronto, you could buy bandwidth from somebody in you know another part of the world and your traffic actually goes through there, keeping you completely private. It provides a good amount of internet security and privacy to its users without running the risk of anyone eavesdropping on any of your online activities. Now, unlike traditional VPNs, Sentinel does not keep any record of a user's online activity or their connection logs, so nothing is tracked. Furthermore, it features a relay network for nodes in order to ensure that the rerouting of the user's online activity cannot be traced back to them either. Next, we have Hopper, uh, Hopper or Hopper. Hopper's decentralized incentivized MixNet obscures all metadata, including IP addresses, which makes it impossible to tell anything about who is communicating and what data they're actually sending. So for example, you could be using it for medical data. So you could send sensitive medical data where you need the highest levels of privacy. And we do that because even when it's encrypted, Metadata from sensors and health apps can expose information which must legally be kept private. There's been a lot of discussion lately about, oh, well, it's really not, we're not really spying because all we're capturing is metadata, but systems know how to use that metadata. So the metadata itself is a security risk. But with Hopper, it makes all that data and all that metadata indistinguishable. So there's nothing there to track. It also is used for crypto. So with current DeFi and other crypto services, it's also used with crypto because current DeFi, decentralized finance and other crypto services regularly expose the user's IP address and other metadata. So once again, once you have that metadata, once you have the IP address, you can use that information to track you back to the user. And that can happen even if no transaction actually happens. So if you go and look at something, you start to browse and start to make a transaction but don't actually finish, that metadata is still tracked and therefore could be linked back to you. And that metadata can be stored. It's used to link to addresses. And while they don't link your name, just your IP, that information can all be compiled together in order to give a paint a very realistic picture of who you are. And that data is used to find people. So it, it's not truly private, even if they don't know your name immediately. Next, we have Kel VPN. And Kel VPN claims to be the first decentralized blockchain based VPN. It doesn't rely on any central point of control and it can't collect logs, spy, or sell your data. They use quantum safe cryptography. And so they offer this reliable encryption module that prevents anyone from hacking into someone else's traffic and intercepting their activity. The network also offers an advanced routing algorithm that can contribute to a user's internet speed as they access the network. So that makes it nice and fast. And unlike traditional VPNs that are centralized, no single authority can control VPN's traffic or monitor the activities of its users. It also has no single point of failure because it's running on the blockchain, making it even more secure. So using any one of these five VPNs is going to take you a long way in your quest for privacy and freedom online, but they really aren't the only things that you need to do to find the lifestyle freedom that we're all looking for. So subscribe to Renegade News right now and get all the latest information on the tools, the strategies, and the tactics that you can use to make the most of Web 3.0, cryptocurrency, and your business. And most importantly, where you can find more freedom in this unfree world. And check out the video that you see on the screen right now for our latest video about this freedom journey that we're all on together. I'm Glenn Kowalski from Renegade News, and I'll see you over there.